Welcome to the hottest entertainment blog on the internet today, The A-List. I'm your host, Wes Troop. And is it me or is there a real lack of wiener on the news this week? I mean, they're talking about wiener all the time and now just dropped. I mean, come on. Well, if you want your supply of big wiener, you've come to the right place. Let's see what's going on in the world of sex tapes this week. We're going to kick it off with some sex tape updates. Alright, so, word on the street is, Kourtney Kardashian has a sex tape. The hottest of the Kardashians, in my opinion. Uh, I'd be interested in seeing some of that, just as long as there's no Chloe sex tapes out there. Good God in heaven! <laughs> That's like seeing Chewbacca. Anyway, uh, thank God, I'll tell you. All these celebrities with their sex tapes. Thank God there's nothing embarrassing of me on the internet, you know? when you take home a stripper from Al's, right? Anyway, uh, other news, interestingly enough, in Japan, there is a new Jurassic Park love theme uh, hotel. So, interesting, right? Um, they actually asked me if they could borrow my pit of Dilophosauruses, and you know, uh, I don't think so. I need that for when I, someone makes my B.O.P. go wrong, right? That's right, the Dilophosaurus is still very dangerous and still in my backyard. Uh, <laughs> so think about that, robbers. Anyway, um, that's not the only spitter I know, let that be known. Ooh, so, um, <laughs> let's find, speaking of spitters, let's find out, we're going to play our favorite game. We have an update in our favorite game. Who's got herpes? All right, well, the, uh, the court case has been settled with our unknown celebrity who uh, was slapped with a herpes lawsuit. So, just like how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, when it comes to who was this A-list celebrity that gave someone herpes, the world may never know. But anyway, we'll keep, an, uh, we'll keep you updated, people. In an interesting story, 51-year-old Doug Hutchinson, who is supposedly an actor, uh, married a 16-year-old aspiring country singer. First of all, is that legal? And uh, second of all, well, at least she has a date to her junior prom. All right, well, it's time to see what went wrong with some celebrity breakups. Hit it, Neil Sedaka. That's right. Breaking up is hard to do. I didn't even have to tell him to stop playing this time. He must He's getting better. So, uh, Paris Hilton has broken up with her boyfriend, Cy Waits. Uh, basically, uh, Paris Hilton breaks up with her boyfriend every time she has one. Go figure. Um, <laughs> that just proves the point that she'll jump in bed with anyone who has a you-know. So, come on, Paris, let's do it. Maybe she's the one who gave someone herpes. Who knows? Anyway, and also for you ladies out there, uh, George Clooney and his uh, girlfriend, what the hell's her name? Uh, Elisabetta Canellis have split. So all you girls who think George Clooney has some nice man meat, you can uh, jump on that. So, let it now, out with the old... And in with the new. That's how we do it in my bedroom, at least. Uh, this is 
our new couple alert. <laughs> Hopefully the cops don't hear that sound. Anyway, <laughs> this is the new couple alert, and we have learned that possibly Andrew Garfield from the social network and upcoming Spider-Man is uh, shacking up with Emma Stone. You rat bastard. Anyway, <laughs> Emma Stone, of course, of Zombieland and the upcoming Spider-Man. Uh, that's just how I say it. Anyway, <laughs> um, speaking of Emma Stone, uh, first of all, to be with Andrew Garfield, you must have low standards. And uh, she has been offered the lead role in Pride and Prejudice and Zombie. So another zombie flick. Hopefully you don't get a typecast here, Emma. That every zombie movie, get Emma Stone, you know. But anyway, it is what it is when it is. All right, well, now's the time when I see what happened this week on the boob tube. Oh, yeah. It is time for my reality report. All right. Now, this week on The Voice, because everybody has one. <laughs> we saw the final four for the finale next week become selected. And ladies and gentlemen, we have Beverly McClellan beat out Frenchie Davis. Wow, nice going, Bev. Uh, we have one of my personal favorites, Dia Frampton. Dia, if this doesn't work out, I think you should do some porn. I have, uh, have some ideas for you. Just call me. Uh, Javier Colon, one of the, uh, I guess the missing brother of Carlito and Primo. And, of course, Vicky Martinez are the final four. So that will be an interesting showdown next week. Also on television news, uh, it's been noted that the Glee kids, uh, of the, uh, of the current cast will graduate next year. And, oh my god, you know what that means. No more Diana Agron on Glee. Oh, God. And that means Diana will be out of a job. But, Diana, if you're looking for a job, I have one for you. <laughs> no need to apply. That brings us to this week's box office prediction, the B-O-P. Last week, I was right when I said... The Green Lantern would be numero uno. And check my page for my Green Lantern review. So, this week, or that makes me 91 and 26. This week, I'm going to say Cars 2 is the number one movie in America. And that brings us to this week's Babe of the Week. This week's Babe of the Week is a twofer. Oh, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, check them out. The Bella Twins. You can look, but you can't touch. You can't Just a quick shout out. Uh, this past week, Hollywood lost two celebrities. Uh, Clarence Clemens, of course, of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, one of my favorite bands. And uh, Ryan Dunn of Jackass, of course, everyone knows that. Uh, so, thoughts and prayers got to their families. Uh, may you both rest in peace. So, peeps, until next time. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on the Twitter. And of course, check out all my movie reviews at RottenTomatoes.com. So until next week, peeps, till then, troop.